Lymphangioleiomyomatosis, or LAM, is a rare disease. Uh, it's found in, uh, within the U.S. in a couple thousand women, uh, and the, it results in cystic lung destruction, which may need patients to have lung transplantation or else result in their death. I'm Joel Moss. I'm a senior investigator at the cardiovascular and pulmonary branch in the NHLBI. Our research is directed at trying to combine what we can do in the laboratory with what we're doing in the clinic. There was data in the literature suggesting that LAM cells could metastasize or move between various organs. So what we're trying to do is find a single cell in the midst of blood, which is composed mostly of red cells. And to look at this from a perspective of what we needed to do, there are millions of red cells in the blood, and what we're trying to do is find that one LAM cell that's in the middle of these millions of red cells. I happened to be walking through uh, the exhibit hall in a cell biology meeting, and there was a company that was selling products to be able to isolate cells from blood. And I thought it would be useful to try their products on LAM to see whether we could isolate these LAM cells that might be moving. And it turned out to work beautifully. Using their product, which is a density gradient separation, we could isolate LAM cells. So what we're trying to do is look for markers on the LAM cell surface. And you might consider the LAM cell as being a ball. And on the surface of the ball, there are various antennas. And we're looking for the appropriate antenna that will pull out the LAM cell and not pull out all the other contaminating cells. Once we were able to do that, we were able to identify the characteristic of these cells as we were pulling them off. And as we're pulling them out of the circulation, we're able to identify what is new about the cell that wasn't previously discovered. We were able to identify the markers uh, based on what we found in the lung, what was, what was identified as potentially on the LAM cell. Uh, we were able to pull it out using those markers, and once we did that, we were able to characterize the LAM cells both phenotypically and genetically, meaning what they look like and what their genes were. What is happening now is that other laboratories around the U.S. and overseas are also looking at LAM cells. And some of these labs have sent people to my lab to, for a month or more uh, to see how the cells are isolated, how they can do it, and take it back to their home institutions. Patients tended to do better when they could communicate with other patients. That gives them a chance for them to learn what other people are going through, what they've gone through, and what they've learned from it. A lot of the things that we learn in LAN is applicable to other diseases. So the hormone dependence is found in breast cancer. Uh, the techniques that we're developing to study LAM is also useful in other more common lung diseases, such as COPD, emphysema. So the more we learn, the more we can work with other people.